incredibly dense, incredibly dusty, and pretty much a monoculture of ragweed. The sheer density of it is completely astounding. All ragweed. I don't blame Jeff for not wanting to work in here because uh, it's very dusty and he is very allergic to ragweed. I have already seen a wide variety of frogs and toads. Beauty, in comparison, this is my hand. So there is a healthy wildlife here, probably mostly because of these naturalized areas. The conservation authority planted trees in here. On this side of the fence, it is not a naturalized area. This is a paddock that has been used for cattle and so they ate everything that was remotely edible for them and only left the noxious weeds. They left a lot of ragweed, they left thistles, they left burdock, I've seen uh, red rooted pigweed. This is not a naturalized area. This is a neglected paddock that is now completely infested with noxious weeds.
Fur dog. This is a lovely gate, it's uh, several hundred dollars and then there's gate hardware sitting here doing nothing because this is a naturalized area in which the conservation authority has planted trees for the next 10 to 20 years you can't have any livestock on here so why is this gate sitting here? For no purpose whatsoever this gate is sitting here getting overgrown, eventually rusting out and by the time you're putting cattle on here again because the trees have grown up in like whatever 20 years this gate will have deteriorated will no longer be a functioning gate whereas if you take it out now and either use it somewhere where it can be used so that you don't have to buy new gates or store it somewhere You're very brave in the jungle. More rocks and a few more thistles. <laughs> 